This is the activity video for Mason. So we want to like figure out various things with Mason, get comfortable with Mason, get to know Mason a bit. So first I'm going to play a Mason. I want you to keep pulse with this. One, two, ready, go. There's a new note value in Mason, a dotted quarter. So a dotted quarter is as long as a quarter plus an eighth note, or it's as long as three eighth notes. Bum, bum, bum. One, two, and three. Plum, apple, plum. Plum, apple, plum. Plum, apple. Um, one, two, and three. One and two and three. And there's another spot that we also have a dotted quarter. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Plum, apple, plum. So you want to feel that. That's why I want you to keep the pulse on this guy. Like while you're singing it. I'll put a boat out. Bum, 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 So walking while you sing it, walking while you listen to it, stomping, feeling that pulse are all good things to do. Um, and then feeling how long is that dotted quarter in relation to the other ones. This would be a good one to write out. This would be a great piece to, you know, write out on your own, get some staff paper, figure out what the rhythms are. Um, that we can do next. We'll actually want to do form next. So what is the form of a song? That's going to be our A section. That's our B section. So did you notice that the B section has two parts that are the same? The first time I played it loud and the second time I kind of echoed it and played it soft. Then after that, what happens with it? Another A section. So it's an ABA form. What other pieces have we done that are also ABA? So give that some thought. Uh, we've done at least, let's see. We've done two other pieces that are also ABA form. So see if you can figure out which two other pieces have ABA form with them. Um, definitely keep the pulse with it. Now we've talked about chords very little. So the chord is multiple notes. Usually a basic chord will go one, three, five, or do, mi, so, mi, do. And there's lots of chords in this one. We, we're in the key of D still. So the key of D has F sharp and C sharp. Remember our D major scale? going to be the one chord because it's the first note of the scale that we're playing in. So it's the one chord in the key of D is going to be D, F sharp, A. Every other letter. 
We play D, we skip E. We play F sharp, we skip G, we play A. Um, May song opens with a D major arpeggio. D, F sharp, A, D. So that's something that's important to recognize. It can make things a lot easier when you start figuring them out. Um, And then there's another spot that we've done in May song and some other pieces. Right here. It's a different rhythm. But we've done this before. So, yeah, the big things of May song is really think about that rhythm and feel that dotted quarter. So, have fun with May song. Keep pulse with it and listen to it, sing it, walk around the room and get to know Maysong.